Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I'm getting back here on the show for my final video of the night, and I'm here talking about all the NFL news from today. I kind of just chilled out and watched the Cowboys game, done the recaps, and go watch that. And I want to talk about some NFL news here before I, you know, call it a night. So we had three uh, updates on this uh, Von Miller situation. So we had some breaking news that came out this morning. Uh, hashtag Bill Star linebacker Von Miller has a warrant out for his direct arrest for domestic violence case, via WFAA. Miller's longtime girlfriend accused him of assaulting her at their home in Dallas on Wednesday morning, and a warrant has been issued for Miller's arrest, which was this morning, when this first came out. The warrant was for a charge of assaulting a pregnant person, a third-degree felony. I did not expect that to come from Von Miller. Look. Just assault, assaulting any woman's disgusting. It doesn't matter if it's pregnant or non-pregnant. It's just awful. Just assaulting a woman in general. I can't believe that. And and then a few hours later, about eight hours later, Bill Stark pass rusher Von Miller has turned himself in after an arrest warrant was issued for his arrest for allegedly, allegedly assaulting a pregnant woman per TMZ. Just a nightmare season for the Bills, like an overall disappointing season, then to see this from Von Miller. But apparently there was an update about an hour ago. Hashtag Bills linebacker Von Miller's alleged assault victim downplayed the incident apparently, quote, No one assaulted anyone. The woman now claims the incident has been, quote, blown, blown way out of contact. Previously in a 911 call obtained by at WFAA, the woman claimed to have been hit and choked with, quote, bru with bruises all over me. He pulled my hair out. I have, like, some blood on me, but not like, yeah, I don't know. She she said when asked if she needed medical attention. But now she says, we're fine. This thing we're blown way out of context. This is actually outrageous. No one assaulted anyone. This is insane and sad via the NY Post. He gave her a lot of money to uh, say all this. In other words, a deal was reached for him. Some money... He gave her a bag. Sounds like check clearing. Because he can do that again. So, I mean... Can't, can't believe some people just downplay assault just because they get paid. Like, I don't care if you get paid. The person that assaults you should go to freaking jail. So this is a pretty crazy story here. Hashtag 49ers overall offensive tackle Trent Williams revealed he didn't know how much luck, how much time he had left to live after learning his cancer diagnosis. Quote, every time I go into a locker room, every time I put a helmet on, I flash back, think about the time where Doc said, go get your affairs in order. Football is the least of your worries at this point. I think you need to get closer to your girls. It looks pretty serious. I don't know how long you got left. You need to get your affairs in order. It's good for him baiting it. Like, cancer sucks. Like to anybody. That's great. He baited it and shaped and shaped like that. Like, respect to him. One of the greatest left tackles of all time. Trent Williams. So we have an injury update. Uh, Brands keep beat. Dorian Thompson Robson miss, misses practice again. Still dealing with a concussion. Seems more and more likely Joe Flacco will start against the hashtag Rams in Week 13. So it looks like we're going to get Joe Flacco starting uh, against the Rams for Week 13. Him in 2023 is a start is crazy. They're not going to have Dorian Thompson Robinson uh, in this game. I guess this is a party report. The new college football game by EA Sports is still expected to be released uh, this summer. Per that on three sports. I mean, we're really getting GTA 6 college football in the same year. Crazy. And they confirmed it will have a 12 team playoff format in that game, so it's going to go crazy. So, update. The hashtag Bills will not fire head coach Sean McDermott after this season, sources tell at by Tim Graham. From the report, asked if there was any chance Bagula would fire McDermott, two of the sources replied, zero. The other two sources said they would be sh shocked if Pagula made such a move. All four sources have intimate knowledge of the Pagula McDermott relationship, and quote from The Athletic. I mean, this isn't really a surprise that they won't fire Sean McDermott. 
Man, I don't know what they can change. I feel like their Super Bowl thing is just like Super Bowl windows closed. But they don't, I don't know if they ever think anything, win anything with him as a head coach, so I mean, you might think about firing him. So we had an update. The hashtag Panthers claimed veteran quarterback Shaquille Griffin off waivers from the hashtag Texans. So the Panthers now have Shaquille Griffin uh, on their team. Wow. Broncos All-Pro quarterback Patrick Sertan said he's open to playing wide, wide receiver in the NFL. If there were a time and opportunity to get those offensive snaps, I would definitely be there. He's arguably the best talent in his position in the NFL being a corner, but can he actually pull off being a two-way player? I don't, I don't know about that. Because nobody's really a two-way player in the NFL. So, pre report X Raiders general manager Dave Ziegler wanted to move up and draft CJ Stroud because he believed he was a, quote, generational talent. But now, fired coach Josh McDaniels overruled him, B I S I N L. McDaniels was apparently hell bent on starting veteran Jimmy Garoppolo. Dave felt he was a generational talent, and Kelly left him. Z had done his research. He knew the cost to move up to number one and even number two. He felt the cost was cheap, and he was willing to do almost anything that didn't include Max Crosby. He and Josh agreed that the price for number one was too, too high, but Z wanted to move up to the number two pick and grab strength. He could have made the deal. Josh wanted nothing to do with that plan. Bill loved Garoppolo. So that meant he would. He was hell on Jimmy G, and despite all of the health issues that he and Dave's incessant warnings that it was a mistake, Josh got his way, according to a league source. How does a coach overrule a GM? Like, that seems backwards, but that's the Raiders organization in a nutshell. I don't know why he was so obsessed with freaking Jimmy G. If they had CJ Stratton, I felt they would be a lot better than they are right now. Oh, Seahawks activate off the tackle. Oh, no, that's from earlier. So, an update. The 2-9 Patriots are getting flex out of Monday Night Football against the hashtag Chiefs. The hashtag Eagles versus the hashtag Seahawks game will take over for Week 15. After seeing the Seahawks tonight, that's going to be a good game, maybe, if their offense continues to play at that level. Uh, there's quite a few changes on here for the NFL schedule Saturday. Um, Denver and Detroit's at 8.15, the primetime game. Pittsburgh and Indianapolis at 4.30. And then Minnesota and Cincinnati at um, 1 p.m. Three Saturday games. Broncos and Detroit's going to be a really good one. Some changes on the Week 15 schedule. So, training after Raiders quarterback meet... Meek Robertson said the Raiders are better than the hashtag Chase wide receiver Hunter Renfro says they can quote run the table and can win five straight games to make the playoffs. He said there's nothing against us winning five or and sneaking in the playoffs. Their next five games include the Vikings, Chargers, Chiefs, Colts, and Broncos. This is really gonna bite them in the ass, but it's it's all good. You gotta have that fire, but I don't know about that. At least you have to play the Chiefs. I don't know if they're gonna beat the Chiefs again. So. Cardinals are cutting Pro Bowl tight end Zach Ertz per at J.J. Watt. So, Zach Ertz um, got released. And apparently, the Ravens and Eagles are teams to keep an eye on and could sign ex Cardinals Pro Bowl tight end Zach Ertz in case he clears waivers per at Blazer Report. Bounce guard still with an injury, although it will be back at Baltimore lost Mark Andrews. I mean, you could have a homecoming for him because, I mean, Dallas Carter is out, but he's going to be out for the season, so I don't know if they'll do it. Uh, per report, Bears have already had conversations about possibly hiring Michigan coach Jim Harbaugh, per at Dean Rossini. That depends on what they'll do with Matt Eberflus and the coaching staff, per Rossini. The Bears compare up Harbaugh with the best college QB come out because they have the first overall pick via the Bryce Young trade. It's going to be another interesting Bears offseason, but I don't think they're going to bring in Harbaugh. I don't think they will. Um, Falcons kicker Young Hoku has passed Ravens legend Justin Tucker as NFL's all-time leader in field goal percentage. In five in five years less, about three or less attempts. That's crazy. So here's your NFL players of the month for November. Uh, offense and defense are in the NFC: Dak Prescott and Deron Bland, and special teams kicker Kyle Santos. In the AFC: C.J. Stroud, defense Cleo Mack, and kicker Will Lutz. The rookies were C.J. Stroud and Kalaja Kansi. So that's crazy. 
Rookie of the Month and Player of the Month. So the Panthers placed wide receiver and running back. LaVisca Schnall in reserve with an ankle injury part of the team. I'll talk about some more stuff with the Cowboys Seahawks stats uh, in the NFL news tomorrow, along with other stuff. Tony Kill says that the reason he moved to the hashtag dogs is because Patrick Mahomes would invite Travis Kelsey to his house but didn't invite Tyreek. I was hurt, Patrick. You ain't never invited me over to your house like you did Kelsey. That's why we were while that's why we here while we that's why we were here at now. I've never been anybody's side chick before I go to KC now on the side chick. And he was obviously joking. But he's got a new reason every month, I swear. The Eagles uh, today signed former commander 6'5 wide receiver Cam Sims per his agency. Kind of surprised he's a free agent. Sims QB, Geno Smith took a major step back this season compared to last season. A bunch of categories 17th in completion percentage, 20th in QBR, and t tied 20th in TDI and T ratio. I felt it was just kind of a fluke year last year. Here's your odds to win the 2023 MVP. Jalen Hurts at 1, plus 150. Patrick Love at 2, plus 400. Lamar Jackson at plus 500. Dak Prescott at plus 800 as of this morning. Er, so I don't know if that's changed now. But I, Jalen Hurts shouldn't be number 1. It's most valuable player, not a uh, best team. So Sports Illustrated, they're getting like, rightfully roasted here. So they picked 4 and 8 Colorado's coach Deion Sanders as the 2023 Sports Person of the Year. They finished last in the Pac-12. I mean, it's gonna be better. They're gonna be better next year, but come on, You're getting rightfully roasted. So breaking, the Patriots are preparing to start Bailey's app against the hashtag Chargers on Week 13. Per Jeff Foe, that would make Mac Jones officially benched, not just mid-game, but for real. So it looks like his air is done. So, per your report, following the firing of Frank Wright, the Panthers are expected to have interest once again in Lions offensive coordinator Ben Johnson. A source tells Aunt Justin Anderson they previously declined a second interview with the team this past offseason. He didn't want them bums last year. He definitely doesn't want them now, so they might as well not waste their time. So, Epis 1 Emmanuel Echo says, says that he thinks Aaron Rodgers loves attention more than his teammates. I don't think he loves his teammates. I think he loves attention. I think he has an insatiable appetite to hear about Aaron Rodgers. He's the kind of guy to call someone an attention seeker and be an attention seeker at the same time. Okay. Aaron Rodgers wants people to talk about him, and they, they are, so. That's really enough to say for the video. Uh, I'll talk, probably talk about some, yeah, I might talk about some stats here from the Cowboys game tonight. So remember back in early October, Richard Sherman didn't believe wide receivers, Cowboys wide receiver, C. Lamb was wide receiver, one column over eight. Since then, he's had 63 catches, 824 receiving yards, seven total touchdowns, 12.8 yards per catch. And he's helped Dak become top MVP candidate, his number one receiver. One of the best duos in the league with C. and you know. Dak. And Sadie Lamb and I have 14 touches, 146 total yards, one touchdown, 24 yards as long as rush, 23 longest catch. So CD was great. And tonight was actually the fifth game in regular season history with zero punts. Best Thursday night football game in a long time. Dak Prescott night. 323 total yards, 118.6 QB rating, three touchdowns, no picks, 7.3 yards per attempt, 41 to 35 in the in the in the win. Over his past six games, 21 touchdowns, only one interception, 1,901 passing yards, and five and one record. I think he's definitely in the running. I think he should be the favorite, as of now, to win that uh, MVP award. I'm safe for this NFL news, so I'll be back here tomorrow with more NFL news when I get home from school. So, yeah, until next time, I fly. Peace.